Hi, it's Mike Gerzy here at Music Villa. In this session, we're going to talk about the major scale. And I wanted to do this video because, to me, it's really important to address the major scale because it's the, uh, it's the foundation of music. It's what our musical system is really based on. You all know it from when you were growing up as kids. You sang the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. That's the major scale. And when we look at a piano, it's really easy to see it because it's all the white keys. Um, from from C, in the, in the key of C, if you start on the middle C and you just play all the white keys up to the next C, that arrangement of notes is the major scale. So I want to show you that on the guitar and then we'll, we'll play it through a couple of different ways and, and show you how that works. So where's middle C on the guitar? The first fret of the B string. The first finger on the first fret of the B string is going to give you the note C. If you um, play all the white keys on the piano, it's going to look like this. It's going to go C, up, up a whole step to D. A whole step is when I move, between, when I skip a fret. Up another whole step to E. Now I'm going to play this half step, which is, if you look at a piano, it's going to be E to F. There's no black key between the two. That's a natural occurring half step. So that gives us the F. Then we go up another whole step to G. We go up another whole step to E, uh, excuse me, to A. And we go up another whole step to B. And then, once again, think of the piano from B to C. It's got, there's no black key between them. It's a naturally current half step to the octave, C. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And that's the major scale. So when you break that down and you take a look at the half step, whole step formula, from the first note, from the C, we go up a whole step. We go up another whole step and then we go up a half step. So we have whole, whole, half. Then we go up a whole step to get to the fifth, or G, and then we go whole, whole, half. So the major scale is basically whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And that gives us uh, the octave, C to C. There are seven notes in between the octave, so the scale itself is the seven letters of the alphabet, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So one thing that, that you may not have realized before, but if you cut that scale in half, if I play just the first half, C, D, E, F, and I play the second half, G, A, B, C, they're exactly the same in the whole step, half step relationship. So here I have whole, whole, half. To start the second half, I have whole, whole, so if you think about that and remember that the white keys on the piano give you this naturally occurring half step, each half of the scale is identical. So when we move that now to any other, any other key starting note on a, on a different note, the relationship stays the same. So if I put that, let's say I put that in the key of G, so I'm going to use my G string and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Whole step, whole step, half. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half. And that's going to be your major scale. So just remember the whole step half step formula that creates the major scale. Now when we put that on the, on the guitar, if I take, the, uh, let's, let's stay in G, if I take the G and I play it on two octaves from the low E all the way to the high, from the low G all the way to the high G, I'm going to get this, G, A, B, C. Now I'm changing strings, D, E. Now I have to get that whole step, so I have an F sharp, and then G. And then I continue on this G, it's the same as that open G. So I have G, A, B, C, D, E. There's that F sharp again, and G. So the G major scale looks like this. So what I'd like for you to do, if you don't already know this, is to just play that scale up and down. So you're going to have time to just sit and just run that. So you're going to go like this, using your alternating picking. And then over time, just pick up the speed.
Okay, so that's the G major scale uh, using that whole step, half step formula. So I want you to play with that scale, run it up and down if you want to, or if you already know how and you can move it to other keys, great. We'll talk about that um, at another time. But for right now, I just wanted to introduce you to this major scale. The next session, I'm actually going to take that major scale that we just played and we're going to put chords on it. And you're going to see uh, how we can create chords from the major scale. This is Mike Gersey from Music Villa. We'll see you next time.